Island, the Phoenix, part 12 of 13, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on March 26, 2021. Zoom stuff is funny, yeah? <laughs> Many funny stories about this Zoom nowadays. Yes, yes. Re remote work is very funny. Like sometimes a very top uh, government official is talking uh, some important thing and then the captured, you know, appears in front of him yes. drinking milk from his cup. <laughs> <laughs> or talks for him <laughs> because he, he put the wrong filter on or something without oh, yes. realizing. Yes. Or somebody even, uh, you know, show affection to his wife, you know, graphically on the Zoom. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I think he forgot to turn off the computer, yeah? Mm -hmm. To turn off the Zoom. Or the, if you just cover the, the camera hole, it's enough, right? Yes. yes. Then nobody can see you, right? Correct. Yes. Yes. Why, why, why didn't he have such trouble? Huh? To let people see how he, he loves his wife. Yeah. <laughs> In front of the camera. My God, and many other stuff. Okay, the story of the phoenix. Uh, uh, maybe I put it here. There's a king, uh, the emperor of uh, the new uh, Babylonia a long time ago, yeah? Yes. It's about like uh, 605 to 562 uh, before Christ. Mm? And he he was a very uh, good uh, warrior. He conquered uh, Judah country and uh, also invaded Jerusalem and make the uh, Jewish people at that time go in exile in Babylon. This kind of exile lasted 50 years, almost 50 years. Yeah. Uh, he is one of the important personages in the Bible, in the chapter about Daniel. Yes. They're talking together. He talks with his subordinate, I guess, about the uh, the phoenix. Yes. But this phoenix is not like the physical one, I guess not. They just translated it for lack of other, uh, how do you say, terminology for this kind of uh, sacred bird. Yeah? Just like we say dragon, huh? Yeah. Uh, some look like dragons, no? but lack of, uh, of words we say dragon, but ex actually it's not a dragon, yeah? It's similar or something like that. And we heard about him and we saw him, yeah? The dragon. Mm -hmm. Or another, like, uh, looks like a lion, Kilanga. I forgot. Yeah, check it out. Chiling, ah, Chiling, Ingwen, Jemajang. Mere, No? I think they also call lion master. It's not a lion. In English, yeah. Yeah? Are you sure? Yes. I don't think so, but well, never mind. <laughs> 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 Just an example. Yeah, all right. Okay. One day this uh, king, huh? his name is Nebuchadnezzar. Wow, long name. He asked one of his uh, people, name is uh, Ben Sira. Oh, sorry, master. They call unicorn. No. Kailang. Kailang by unicorn. Unicorn is look like a horse yeah. Yeah. with one horn yeah. on the head. Yeah, I use Google uh, Translate is wrong. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I know, I know. They, they translate very fun, funny things. Like last time I sing the Vietnamese romantic song, and they say, the love, I would say, the love ball holds through the roof and comes out, something like that. Remember? The nong tham suyeng vua ba mai tan the deep love bore a hole <laughs> through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> My God, how romantic can that be? <laughs> well, how can the romantic love bore a hole through the roof? <laughs> I'm okay, don't worry. I just uh, need to drink a little water so my voice is sweetened a little, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You need to go out a little bit or something? No, Master. We're no. okay.
Okay. I was so in a rush to organize this. You have no idea. It looks simple to you, but it's not for me. Okay. I have to see the angle to cover the wall for my safety. In my retreat, I'm more sensitive. Okay. Not yes, like when I'm right. out in the public. Yeah. Understand. When I'm out in the public, I already guard myself. Yeah. Or for that time, but I cannot guard twenty-four-seven. Yeah. It would be too bothersome. You see? Yeah. Yes, sir. So many things I had to move because of safety, yeah? Not from outsider, from my insider, from so called disciples. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As I told you, if you're low level and you even want to love people and respect them, you also make trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like your hand is dirty. Whatever you touch is dirty, no matter diamonds or precious stuff, yeah? If your hands are full of dirt or dirty, you know, filthy, and you touch that, it becomes dirty too. At least temporarily, okay? Yes, and energy, bad energy is very difficult to wash off, not so quick, especially if they continue, not just one time, okay? Not just one day, two days, but continuously with the low level energy or desire or whatever. Oh, my life. So the emperor asked the person next to him, maybe an officer, his name is Ben Sira, how come the, the angel of death could control everything except the race of the phoenix? And so Ben Sira uh, answered the emperor like this. When, uh, you know, Eve ate the forbidden fruit and gave one to her husband, Adam, to eat with her, then at that time she make other beings, you know, become very desirous also to eat that. Mm. So, so she gave to all of them. She gave whomever there to eat with them. And then suddenly she even saw uh, the phoenix, the bird, and she told the phoenix, "Hey, you, you go and eat together with your friends around here. Yeah, whatever they are eating." So the phoenix answered her, like, you already sinned against the sacred God, holy God, and thus you created the reason for death in the future for yourself and other beings. Is that not enough? Why do you still continue to want to uh, like seduce me into disrespecting the order of God and uh, tell me to eat this forbidden fruit, then I am going to be ruined also. I will definitely never listen to you. And suddenly there was a holy voice roaring around them, saying to Eve and Adam, you both have known my, uh, my order but you did not respect and keep it, and you even sinned. And now you even want to uh, drag the phoenix bird into the sinful action like you. But the phoenix did not want to do that, even though I have not ordered it. He did not order the phoenix not to eat, but the phoenix still did not eat, yes? so. The phoenix has respect and keeps my order because he has the highest regard for me, means for God. Eh? For God. Yes. Thus, from now on, the phoenix and their children will never know death, mm. never have to taste death. And when it's convenient, by the way, The Holy God told the angel of death like this, you have all the power over all other beings and even all the food that they will have, except the phoenix and their race and their generations. They never have to taste the taste of death. Yes. Mm. At that moment, one of the angels respectfully spoke to God, Oh, 
the God of all the universe. Please、uh, keep these phoenixes in a very, very remote area, far away from、uh, other beings, because they are a very righteous race of birds. Because if not, these righteous birds will also be contaminated by other beings, and they will also learn. Or follow the actions, the deeds of other beings, and then they will also sin in front of you, even though they are already defined as they will not know how to sin. Even then, you know, you worry that they might be contaminated and be coerced, or you say, pushed or influenced, yeah, by others. Yes, yes. Wow. No wonder we don't ever see a phoenix anywhere.、Mm-hmm. Yes. Very rare, yeah. And even then, these are not the the real phoenixes. I don't think. I, we just saw it on the, on the painting only, yeah.、Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. So、uh, the holy God immediately accepted this suggestion、uh, of the angel. Then he manifested. He created for the phoenix and the king alone. A very big, big city, and he pronounced that, "I have decreed that you and your kin will not be controlled by even my own sword or the sword of anyone else, and you will never know death." Meaning, they will not die.、Mm. Oh. Wow, huh? Yes, wow. Uh, actually, this is a, a kind of a legendary bird. They call him a never dying bird, nah?、Huh? Mm. The live forever bird, a mortal bird. Yes, according to the legend of the medieval Jewish time, in the Babylonian Talmud、uh, book, they are called Oshina, and according to other stories, in.、Uh, Midrash, you know, one of those、uh, holy books of the Jewish.、Uh, they are called Hol or Hul, H O L and H U L. But here, the author used the word Phoenix because、uh, everyone else,、uh, you know, in other story, in other books, they also use them like that. I guess we don't have other birds to liken to this bird because the phoenix is also one of the four holy beings. That is、uh, the dragon, the chilling in Chinese, the turtle, and the phoenix. These are the four、uh, sacred beings, special, very auspicious. Yeah, the Chinese and the Vietnamese believe they are very auspicious beings, and it's very lucky if you see them. First, you know, in Vietnam they use the the, the word phoenix. I think we have it in English. I just don't remember now. Okay. Okay. Da, da, da. Yeah. In the Bible, it also says something like、uh, in Job twenty-nine. It says, "I am telling you, when I breathe my last in my own nest, but my phoenix will lengthen my life." Yes, that's what he said. One of the saints in the Bible, and then he also says that、uh, phoenixes are the type of birds that's very famous for their long life and can rejuvenate themselves. Okay, that is the story. Hmm. Phoenix luck. So. Anybody have any idea what the story wants to teach us? No, huh? As usual, huh? To to not give in to temptation. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Also, a lack of、uh, understanding. My stuff about the four animals. They say it's a turtle, white tiger, phoenix, and dragon. Oh. <laughs> White tiger. They keep them all in the zoo, and they take them for their skin. Ah, terrible. White tiger is easy to find. Okay,、mm-hmm. it's not. It's the it's the the chilling that's difficult to find. 
I know the word, I just forgot. Never mind. If I know it, I will speak it for you. If I don't know, then then we just keep chilling <laughs> in Chinese, okay? Mm. Yes. It does look similar to, to the lion, but it's not a lion. Sometimes people refer to it as a mystical lion. Uh-huh, yes. probably, yes. But there is a word for it. Never mind. Okay, maybe I don't remember well. Okay, now, you can see it's not just to give in to temptation, but once, once you are in trouble, you infect others. You see that? Yes. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master.